Hello and welcome to this week's edition of The Breakdown where we look back at the week that was in Dialogue Rugby League and I watched several weekends of Dialogue Rugby League in my life and this was probably one of the best collective weekends of rugby that we've seen. Let's look at the first match that we had for the weekend. Police taking on Havelocks at Police Park and everybody was really surprised to see the halftime score. 14 points to nil in favour of Police because Havelocks were the unbeaten team, the favourites going into this game. But suddenly, Police looked like they were there to play. And as a result of that, Havelocks made a couple of early changes. Ganitu Lakshan coming into that game completely changed the line out around. And it was only from there that Havelocks started to come back into that match. Ended up winning 31 points to 26 and what a performance it was from police but Havelock showing that once again they can come back into the game they've come back from behind more than once this season already and a really outstanding win for them 31 26 army then was also at police park the following day they were taking on chnfc and what a game that was as well chnfc started off really well they looked like they were going to wipe the floor with army but then suddenly army found their rhythm kept coming back into the game kept getting physical uh, in the rocks ashan bandara showed a willingness to take it to the line and it ended up 24 points to 18. CHNFC were really unfortunate uh, that they couldn't win that game because they were desperately in search of their second win of the season. But Army played some outstanding rugby. Three times they were held up uh, over the try line. Fourth time they came and scored several points that they could probably have gotten that uh, they were denied. But nevertheless came back and won that game in an outstanding game of uh, rugby 24-18. Well, we had Air Force who took on Navy and uh, despite travelling to the Air Force ground, Navy were just a little bit too strong. It was 14 all at half time, but then the half time change around uh, turned things completely for uh, last year's top three finisher, and they finished 43 points to 25 in favor of Navy. That was a bit of a blowout in uh, that game. Then, of course, Candy uh, hosted CRNFC. CRNFC travelling up to Nithavala. Haven't won there since 2001, if I uh, remember correctly, but this time thought that it was their best chance without Marija, without Gayan Ratna in that midfield for Candy. It was the first time that CRNFC were trying to take those uh, boys on without those stalwarts in. But I'll tell you what, those two stalwarts left, but Candy have found new stalwarts, and all three of them are in the third row as well. Uh, Shihan Lema, outstanding. Buoneku Dangamu, all also like a tank uh, at the back of that scrum and Tarindu Chaturanga, what a work rate uh, from that lad. That was where they won and lost uh, that game. It ended up being uh, 41 points to 30. I think the final scoreline maybe flatters Candy a little bit. It was a much closer game than that, but still one of the best games of rugby we've seen this weekend. So let's take a closer look at that Candy CRNFC game. So CRNFC were reliant on their backs and they really wanted to make sure that they could get those flyers into space. Guys like Riza Rafaidin, who's a good finisher, Kavindu Pereira also who can uh, really take on Danush Karanjan, one of the few guys in Sri Lanka rugby who can probably beat Danush Karanjan for pace as well. So as a result of that, they were hoping that their wide out men will do the job for them. But unfortunately for them, they couldn't get the ball out to them because the line out was such a shambles. And that's where Pathirana was really outstanding. He was really the line out well and even if he didn't steal them himself he was making sure that he knew exactly what CRNFC was going to do and really upsetting uh, the throwing and the jumping and the timing of that CR line out. Also in defense CR chose not to contest the line out and as a result gave easy ball to Candy and Candy set up their driving mall almost every single time they got a line out and that sapped the strength of the CR forwards and as a result of that Buoneka Udangamo absolutely ran riot uh, with the ball in hand and then when the bench came on guys like Heshan Kalhara also was carrying the ball really strongly. Sasika Jayawardana uh, carrying strongly after he came on as well, scored the final try uh, for Candy also. So it was a real dominant forwards performance. And I don't know when I've seen this from Candy before. Sean Vijay Singh has put in a lot of work and you, we're usually used to the ball going wide to Danush Karanj and the goal, ball going wide uh, to um, uh, Richard Dharmapala. But this time, it really was a forwards battle and what an outstanding battle it was. Probably one of the most physical games we've seen uh, this season. And Candy don't like to play physical, but this time they showed they love it, they revel in it and uh, Shahan Patrana deserved man of the match and I think his two third row uh, mates as well very very close behind him in that performance. A dominant performance from Candy but still a wholehearted performance from uh, CR and FC. They came as close as they've ever gotten uh, but despite leading 14-7 at one stage, one missed touch finder and the game changed from there. The momentum completely swung uh, to Candy and they never took their foot off the gas and that's what makes them different. That's what makes them champions. The fact that they just don't let up. They're completely relentless in the way they put teams under pressure and they don't relax for a moment. And that's exactly uh, what happened to CR. It's a good learning curve for some of these younger CR players. But let's see whether they, what they come back with when they take on their big rivals next weekend as well. 
Let's have a look also at that Army versus CHNFC game. The first upset for the season so far. Police almost created upset the day before, but Police Park really saw that upset on uh, the next day when Army took on CH. CHNFC started really well, and it was a bright start for them because they went into halftime 13 points to 10, and they looked like they were starting out of the blocks very cleanly. And Army absorbed that pressure. They really absorbed that pressure well. And then after that, they managed to get into their rhythm, and they used their physical boys. They used Sugat Nanyakara, uh, the tight head prop they use him really well to run onto that ball uh, coach Viper Gunaratna has been doing a lot of work in their line out as well they want some good line out ball and they were not hesitant to spin that wide first up with a, to a pod of forwards in midfield and they almost always crashed through that gain line putting Samuel Madhuvanta and his defensive partners under just a little bit of pressure there as well work some nice moves off the back of the line out as well they were competent going to number six so it really was an all round performance in the line out uh, from Army and that's where they managed to win uh, that game as well. CHNFC had a few opportunities, but once again, stolen line out ball from Army meant that CH had to squander those uh, opportunities as well. Anurag Dehar had playing really well as when Avin Hena Kankanam gave for. Uh the ECH boys, but it was just the wingers and they need more to happen inside them. Samuel Madhuvanta keeps the team on the front foot. He makes sure he kicks the penalties over, but he needs someone just to break that gain line a little bit more often uh, for them. And that's where CH and FC were faltering. But Army, what a complete performance. There was one point in uh, that game that they smashed through, got over the line three times in quick succession, denied with a held up call, but still came back and scored the try at the fourth time of asking. So they were really good on the day and deserved their win. One regrettable incident about the weekend though and that was the assault of a referee after the Air Force versus Navy game. That's something that we have to point out. We've already written about it on the papare.com so please inform yourselves and hopefully the authorities will be taking very stern action against whoever the culprits were. So unfortunate uh, situation with that but zero tolerance has to be adopted yeah, as a policy for this kind of event. Let's have a look at our points table now, courtesy of stats.thepapare.com, where, of course, we have all the stats for this weekend's uh, rugby, all of last weekend's rugby, and, of course, the entire couple of seasons that we've covered here on thepapare.com on uh, Dialogue Rugby League. The leaderboard has a clear leader at the moment, uh, Candy Sports Club remaining unbeaten after that titanic clash with CRNFC in Nithavala. They're on 24 points. Havis close behind on 22 points. They've squandered bonus points on a couple of occasions, Havis, so that might come back to bite them later. CR, after their first... First loss dropped to third and uh, Navy in fourth place after that big win with a bonus point against Air Force as well. The bottom four clubs expect a real clash between them, uh, Army, CH, Police and Air Force because that's going to be a real close run thing uh, to try and get into the top four as well considering uh, that there is a little bit of a gap uh, to the top three clubs and there's a lot of competition in the bottom five places as well. Stats.thepapare.com Let's continue to have a look at our top try scorers and that has been a little bit of a change. Danus Karanjan with five tries, he scored a scorcher against uh, CRNFC as well thanks to a Buoneka Udangamoa offload. What a beautiful bit of play from Udangamoa that uh, Ranjan profited from. But he goes up to five tries and an unlikely candidate in second, Rahal Delpachitra also comes up uh, to four tries after his two try blitz against uh, Police which helped win the game for his team. The top point scorers, no changes there. Tarin Ratwatha knocked over 15 points up in Nittavala. 63 points he goes up to and Samuel Madhuvanta continues on his merry way 46 points he has as well to his boot Let's look at next week's games, or most of those live on the papara.com and some of them on Dialogue TV 1 as well. Army take on Navy, that should be a really pitched battle. I think that's going to be a very interesting game. That's going to be at Ratmalana, of course. And then we have Sierra NFC taking on Havelocks at Longdon Place. That's going to be on the 8th, that's the Saturday. Then on the 9th, we have Candy taking on CHNFC up in Nithavala. And judging by this week's performances, I think Candy should probably have that one easy. And looking at police, versus Air Force. I would think police are the favoured team, especially since they had Police Park as well. Air Force haven't been able to win a game yet, so both those uh, teams will be looking for their first win, so I expect that to be a really intense one also. 
Let's look at our weekly trivia question. Last week we asked you in which year did Candy Sports Club win their first ever trophy in uh, the rugby arena and the answer is 1992. In, uh, it was the Clifford Cup. I remember watching that game as well. Uh, it was after Priyantha Ekanayak, LV Ekanayak, Imti Marika, all of them crossed over from Sia uh, to Kandy and that was when the rain uh, that Kandy are enjoying. Now that's when it really began, that 1992 Clifford Cup. What a win it was uh, also. Congratulations to Hisham Singhalaksana who answered on YouTube and wins himself a replica jersey of the Sri Lanka Tuskers. Uh, this week we have a question for you as well. You can win yourself another uh, dialogue sponsored Tusker jersey and and uh, we ask you who captained the Havelock Sports Club side, who captained the Havelock side when they won the Dialogue Rugby League in 2012-13? Who captained Havies in 12-13 to a title? Answer correctly and win a Sri Lanka rugby replica jersey. Comment on the video below, send us a Facebook message or comment on the Facebook post. We'll see you next week. Until then, enjoy your rugby on the papre.com.